In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Switch Emulator Ryu Bing into Retrobat. If you don't know what Retrobat is, well, it's a free cross-platform front end used for running multiple emulators in one spot while at the same time making your ROM collection look nice and neat. Now, unlike most emulators already being built into Retrobat, Ryu Bing is not, and you will have to add it yourself. Now, this is not a setup guide for Ryu Bing, so if you need to know how to set up the Switch emulator first, then check out my setup guide that I will leave a link to in the description. Once you have it set up, then come back to this video. Okay, so let's head on over to retrobat.org. I will leave the link to this page in the description below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download Retrobat. Then over here, click on download now. This will take you to the Retrobat GitHub page. And once you are here under assets, you will find your download links. And we're gonna download this first option here. Just click on it and your download will start. Now I have moved my Retrobat setup file on an external hard drive. You guys can move your file wherever you like, whether that be an external hard drive, external SSD, your C drive, it's up to you. Also, you are gonna need to create a folder on whatever drive you plan on storing Retrobat on. So for me, it's gonna be here on my Seagate portable drive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click, new folder, and I'm just gonna rename this folder Retrobat. Now let's go ahead and click on the Retrobat setup file. Accept the agreement. Next. Now, if you already have Microsoft Visual C++ and DirectX 9 installed on your PC, then you can uncheck these two boxes. If you are not sure if you have them installed, then you can leave them checked because even if you do, it won't hurt anything by reinstalling them. I already have them, so I'm going to uncheck them. Next. Now we need to select the location of where we want to install Retrobat. And this is why I created that folder called Retrobat on my external hard drive. So I'm gonna select browse and right here is my Seagate portable drive. And there's that folder I created, Retrobat. And then come down to okay and install. And this may take a minute because the file is 3.38 gigabytes. The installation is done. Now let's open that Retrobat folder. And we're gonna go ahead and open Retrobat for the first time. And now we're gonna exit right back out of Retrobat, go down to menu and quit. That just created some additional files you will need for setting up your emulators. Okay, so to make this as simple as possible to follow, I have opened my portable drive in two separate windows. So what you're seeing right now is two separate windows, but the same hard drive. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and open the Retrobat folder. And we want to open this folder here called ROMs. Come up to the search bar and type in switch. And you should get the switch folder. And inside of this folder is where we want to place our Switch ROMs. Now I had a folder created on my external hard drive called Switch. And inside of that folder, I have a few Switch ROMs. So what we're gonna do is just highlight all of the Switch ROMs and drag them into this folder. Now I'll exit out of this second folder and let's go back, back and back. And this time we're gonna go to this folder, Emulators. Go back up to your search bar. Now remember, Ryu Bing is a fork of Ryu Jinx. So this emulator is gonna have Ryu Jinx, not Ryu Bing. But the emulator we are gonna put into this emulator is Ryu Bing. So in the search bar, start typing Ryu Jinx. And you should get that folder. Now inside of this folder is where we're gonna put the actual emulator. And here on my desktop, I have my Ryu Bing emulator setup folder. Inside of that folder, I have my prod keys, my firmware file, and my actual emulator. All of this is already set up and ready to go. If I was to use Ryu Bing on my desktop, then it would work. But what we are gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything in this folder. 
and drag it into that emulators folder on Retrobat. Now let's go back and let's go ahead and load up Retrobat. Now if we scroll over, right here we have Nintendo Switch. And inside of that folder, I have all of my Switch ROMs. Now we need to tell Retrobat that we want to use the Ryu Jinx emulator. So we're gonna come down here to Options, go to Advanced System Options, and up here where it says Emulator, we're gonna change this to Ryu Jinx. Then go back, and then if you select the game, Okay, so we got an error, but this is an easy fix. It's saying that our keys is not being found. If this happens to you, go ahead and click OK. And we're just going to go ahead and redirect the keys and firmware to our emulator. So let's go up to Actions, Install Keys, Install Dot Keys. Now remember, we have our keys and firmware all on the portable drive in that Retrobat folder. In Emulators, go ahead and search for Ryu Jinx. There's my prod keys folder and select prod.keys. And yes. And there we go, new keys successfully installed. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and install the firmware. Back up to actions, install firmware, install firmware.zip. This is gonna be in the same location. We're gonna go back to that retro bat folder and select our firmware. And there we go, we are good on both. And just exit out of the emulator. And now if we reopen that game. You will notice that this time the game actually loads. Now, if this is your first time using Retrobat, then you probably want to know how to make your games look pretty. Give them box art and game clips. So what we're going to do is come down here to menu and go to scraper. Go over to accounts. Now, what you're going to want to do is head over to this website here called screamscraper.fr. I will leave the link to this page in the description. You're going to want to come here and create an account. This is the site that Retrobat uses to get all of your cover art and game clips. Once you have an account, come on back over to Retrobat and sign in using your username and password. Once you have your username and password in, come back over to Scrape and click on Scrape Now. And at the top right of your screen, you should see scraping and it should be showing your games that's being scraped for cover art. If you have a lot of games to go through, then this can take a minute. Now when it's done scraping all of your games, we're gonna need to exit Retrobat. So come back down to menu and quit. And let's go back into Retrobat. And now if we go back into Switch, you will see that your games have some game clips. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this look even better by changing the theme of Retrobat. So let's go down to menu updates and downloads themes now you have a bunch of themes that you can download and try out find what you like best and you can stick with it now i'm going to download the one that i prefer to use which is this one here called rvgm we're just going to click on it and then install and it should start downloading now to apply that theme we're going to go back back again and come up here to user interface settings theme set and we're going to select that rvgm theme and give it a minute and you'll see a change in the back but we can go ahead and exit out of this and there we are and i think this looks a lot cleaner you have your box art over to the left you can see a clip of the game in the middle and you have your game titles on the right.
And once again, when you're ready to play the game, you just go ahead and select the game. And one last thing I want to show you guys before I go is that you may notice that every time you come back to the front end, you're hearing music. If you want to turn that off, then you want to come down here to menu, sound settings, and right here where it says front end music, we're going to go ahead and switch that off. And now you will notice that we don't have any more music. And also, you can use a controller to navigate this. I am using an Xbox Series X controller. You can use an Xbox One controller. You can use a PS5 controller, Nintendo Switch controller, and many third-party controllers work as well. And you do not have to set them up for your emulator. They will automatically work. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.